Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Buff Bunny's coming out with a beautiful collection just in time for spring. Have you guys been seeing the sneak peeks of the cake collection? If you keep up with my Buff Bunny videos, you would know we pretty much covered every collection for almost two years now. So every single month when they come out with a new theme, brand new collection, I'm here reviewing it for you guys. And this month is no different. My top three that really stand out would be Off The Grid, The Undead Collection, gotta love those Halloween vibes, and The Sugar Rush Collection. The Sugar Rush Collection really captivated me because of its gorgeous color palette, beautiful aesthetic, really love the vibes of it being Sugar Rush, the whole candy theme, it was very positive, optimistic, mystic and fun. The cake collection is a branch off of the Sugar Rush. So I'm really excited to share with you guys these pieces. As always, if you do use my code GATA at checkout, it does save you 10% off of your entire order and it does help support this channel big time. So thank you so much if you do choose to use it. Always let me know so I can show you some love. So a little background about this cake collection. The cake collection was designed to enhance the natural curves of a woman's body, while also allowing her to embrace taking up her own space in the gym. The pieces in this collection are not only feminine and stylish, but they're also functional and practical. These pieces are perfect for any woman who wants to both look and feel great while working out. With a focus on both style and performance, this collection is sure to be a favorite among women who love both fitness and cake. Cake actually isn't my favorite. I actually like pie, all right? I prefer pie. Blueberry and cherry, then maybe apple. Nope, peach, then apple. Cobbler's the best though. And can we just take a minute to appreciate the fact that this is a play on words? Cake as in the dessert, but it also means your cake. Your peach, your booty, your plump dump. And I'm just gonna say right here, right now, these pieces will make your cake look like freshly baked. Very beautiful mixture here. The fabrics they're using, the Elysium, the Nubre, actually it's Nubri, I just found that out. Yet another word I mispronounced, just add it to the list. I don't even know why you watch me, honestly. And lastly, butter. I couldn't even picture a more perfect time to come out with butter fabric than in this cake collection. That's like the main ingredient in cake, right? Aside from sugar and love. So the butter fabric is 81% nylon and 19% spandex. So it's light compression, brushed and ultra soft. Before we hop into the pieces that I have to share with you today, right over here, I will have my measurements listed. I'll also have them in the description box below for you to reference. First, we're gonna check out the purple swirl print set. I think this is the biggest eye catcher of this entire collection. Can we all agree with that? So I grabbed the purple swirl print in the Legacy Legging and the Revolution Sports Bra. Let's go ahead and look at the Legacy Legging first. So everything is still the same as you remember Legacy Leggings. We have that very soft, buttery soft Nubri, the Triarch seam on the back, a dark gray printed Buff Bunny logo on the back band. I can't help but notice that the lightest colors of this entire legging is right on the glutes. This could be good and bad. It's good because I really feel like it makes the glutes pop. They methodically, I believe they methodically put that there just to kind of plump the dump, make it look humongous. You got the dark print right underneath the glutes. I don't think that was by accident. The potential downfall for being really light around the glutes would be sheerness. I squatted in these in daylight. I would say they're about 85%, not nearly as bad as I pictured them being given that it's almost white. <laughs> right here. So definitely not terrible. Passable for the gym? I would say for me, yeah, but I don't wear legacy leggings to the gym because this isn't the fabric I personally like to work out in. You guys know if you watch my Buff Bunny videos. Everything is pretty much the same. I've reviewed legacy legging a thousand times. This is by far my favorite Buff Bunny legging that's more yogi based. If you're someone who's new to Buff Bunny, this is a really great starter legging. I actually started my sister-in-law. She's 14 years old. She wanted to dip and dive into some Buff Bunny. I suggested a nice, dark, solid legacy legging. She loves it. That's Bay's sister who's 14 years old. My brother's not married to a 14 year old. I think a couple of you panicked last time I said that. The Revolution Sports Bra. This sports bra has a little bit more material than my personal favorites, like say the candy wrap. This has a bit more coverage in the front. It's very squared off. So if you really like some coverage right around here, you're not a fan of the big cleavage, then I would say this is really good. You need a little bit more support. This is about medium to high support. 
support. The backing is absolutely beautiful. The one thing Buff Bunny does not skimp on no matter the support level. So it's not adjustable. You do have removable bra pads and this thick material down here is just an overlay. It's not an actual band for added support. The one thing I did notice with this sports bra is this bulky seam that attaches this overlay to the rest of the sports bra can be a little bit snug. This is what's supporting your girls. So you don't have a thick band doing it, you have this thick seam doing it. Now I stuck with my true size small in this entire set, very true to size. If you're in between, I would say, the sports bra, you could get away with sizing down. The leggings though, I'm starting to feel like you could get away with sizing up only if you're in between. So just to play mix and match here, I actually grabbed another legacy legging in the eggplant purple color. If you're looking to play around and mix it with the prints I just showed you, this is what it's meant for. One thing I absolutely need to note about this dark eggplant purple is that it does fit a lot more snug than the tie dye. I mean a lot more snug. If you're in between, size on up. I felt like when I squat, there wasn't a lot of glute and thigh space. That's where I felt the snugness most. No difference in the waistband really. It was just all in the thighs and glutes. So if you're looking to grab a dark, deep color, you might wanna consider sizing up if you're in between. I actually love the fact that this dark purple also goes with the sports bra I'm wearing. Hey, you want a little hot and cold color? Go for it. This is the Sculpt Seamless Sports Bra in Frosted Purple. I love this purple because it's almost like a lilac lavender color. I was actually pleasantly surprised with this bra. When I first got it in, it looked absolutely tiny, like the tiniest sports bra ever. Thank goodness there's nothing but stretch in this ribbed bra. It actually is a relatively simple bra overall. You have two thick straps, a really natural curve to the neckline, a really pretty cross backing. There's no band digging. You do have removable bra pads, but it is very low support. This particular fit and this type of bra, because there's not a ton of bulky material, I could see myself possibly working out at the gym in this. I feel like if I bend down, they're nice and secure, very true to size. Overall, I'm super happy with this sports bra. If this is not your first Buff Bunny video with me, and you already know it's no secret that traditionally, when it comes to me and Buff Bunny, I don't wear their pieces to the gym. However, I can't help but notice this launch they're coming out with some beautiful seamless pieces that I have in fact rocked at the gym and loved at the gym. So they're quickly becoming gym friendly for me. This set right here. Let's chat about these leggings. The BBL leggings. This does not stand for Brazilian booty lift. It stands for buff bunny lift. I got the sage color. This is their brand new seamless collection coming out. They are not big with seamless. In case you haven't noticed, buff bunny doesn't really touch on seamless all that much. So when it comes to seamless leggings, it's usually hit or miss from them. I'm gonna go ahead and relate it to Athlete Amplify. And let me tell you why. There's some similarities and some differences. It's similarly thin. This is slightly thicker than Amplify, but it still has that thinness to it. The extreme breathability. Wind, you'll feel it all. Even the way it sits on the glutes is similar. Now this does not have a scrunch bum like the Amplify does. This has a seam, but the seam does absolutely work in your favor. The compression in the waistband is very similar too. If you look closely at the band, there's a slight taper. It is tiered. This actually has a ton of compression in the waistband and just a moderate low light support throughout the legging. So a lot of similarities. This even has a whole heathered look, just like the Amplify, slight marl breakup. You can actually see a dark stripe going right around the band at the top. At first when I pulled this out, I was like, wow, that's a really cool, unique look, cool. When wearing it and watching back the footage, I kept thinking that my band was rolling down because the shade actually made it look like it was rolling. <laughs> but it wasn't. I'm pretty neutral when it comes to the stripe. I don't love it, I don't hate it. I'm just kinda whatever about it. You have the same color shade for the logo that's sewn right into the band. Nice and seamless, very thick ribbed band. And if you're a band flipper, you're really gonna like this. You flip the band down in the front, there it is. In that same shaded green, it says Buff Bunny. I thought that was pretty clever. Even so, I felt like it was a little awkward on the hips, it sat a little bit awkwardly, crimped in certain ways, that just wasn't very flattering for me. I am not a band flipper. Mm -mm. I'm a high-waisted gal all the way through and through. Now let me ask you a question. The buff bunny written inside, is this something you would prefer to see on the front of the waistband like they did? 
Or is this something you think would have worked better on the back of the band? Breathable smiley contour underneath the glutes. I actually have a navigation legging with this contour underneath. This particular color is not squat proof. It was pretty sheer. With it being so thin and breathable, also comes the lack of smoothing. So in other words, cellulite does show through this legging. It's just, that's how it is. That's how it is with the Amplify and that's how it is here. No camel toe but when working out in these at the gym. It's a raw, underground, hardcore bodybuilding gym. And let me tell you, I got these filthy, absolutely filthy, filthy, I'm just joking. So dirty that it actually pissed me off. Luckily, I did wash these since then, yay, woohoo. And it came right out. Wouldn't even know that I effed them up. Overall, very true to size. If you're in between, that's when I would suggest sizing up. I think it might help a little bit with sheerness and the waistband wouldn't be so extreme. It's like a cousin to the Amplify. Candy Wrap Sports Bra, this is the Key Lime color. This is definitely one of my favorite Buff Bunny sports bras. I think it all has to do with the cleavage and the tie front. The thick straps are a plus, so nothing's digging. They're very stretchy straps, very comfortable. They are adjustable. I grabbed the Key Lime Pie for the sole purpose of matching with the Sage leggings and having fun with some brights this spring. Very true to size. I think if you're in between, you could get away with sizing down only because of this, this mushy extra material in the front. So sizing down if you're in between is good. I actually did a full size down in one of my previous videos just to see. And at first I thought it was okay, but after a while of wearing it, I was like, okay, this is a little too freaking snug. I feel like I'm wearing a corset. I gotta take it off. So I'm sticking with my true size small from here on out. End of freaking story. Speaking of corset, the corset crop, we gotta talk about this. Now, if you look closely, you have all the elements of a corset, all that seam action going on right in the front. This top is just a crop. It's a thick double layered crop with no support, no padding, no bra pads or options to remove because there are none. No option to even insert, none. Over on the back, it's a very simple racer back, but they didn't go skimp. You still have some seams going down, really elongating the piece. If you thought the Nubri was buttery, if you did, if you're somebody who's like, oh, new braid fabric all the way, then you're absolutely going to love this butter fabric. It is softer. I didn't think it was possible, right? But it's softer than the Nubri, and it's got a little more of a powdery feel to it. Very luxurious, extremely lightweight. This is a lot more lightweight and airy and breathable of a piece than the Nubre fabric. Overall, very true to size. If you're in between, that's when I would suggest sizing down. I wore this without anything underneath. I'm 34B. You have a very bulky seam that outlines the entire neckline, and you also have a seam that outlines the bottom as well. Luckily, it's very comfortable and you don't have any digging anywhere. This piece is super lightweight. I really like the curvature though. If you look closely, they did it right with this piece where they added a little bit more length to the front and then they had it cut a little bit higher in the back. This is the lowest support sports bra in this entire collection. Just like the top, the corset leggings are the absolute lowest support out of everything in this entire launch. So to match the design of the crop top, you have it right here on the band in the front. Lot of curvature going on. I'm so glad to see that they stopped the seams right here and didn't go any further. I'm glad to see them not putting it all the way down the legs. I've come to realize that putting bulky seams like this throughout a legging is just so constricting. It takes away from the overall comfort level. The one thing I have to say is there's a bulky seam right at the tippity top here on the band. It wasn't a big deal because there is a lot of stretch. I do think, I do believe that all day wear, I mean, you're wearing this for eight hours plus, I think you're gonna eventually be feeling that. You know, you're gonna take it off, you're probably gonna see an indentation around your waist. Not a biggie, but I mean, I have to note that. I don't think you're ever gonna see Buff Bunny with a front seam, I'm just gonna say that. Like, I don't think they'll ever do that to you. You have four vertical seams going down the band on the back, a really beautiful V seam. You do have a printed gray logo on the back though. I really do wish they kept it consistent with the top and added the actual silver emblem, like sewn it in. I don't prefer one being just a print and the other being a little upgraded. Like I feel like if you're gonna upgrade the top, then upgrade the bottom too. Now, given this is so 
lightweight, stretchy, and literally buttery soft. You do see cellulite. It's very extremely low compression, not even moderate. It will make your booty look juicy because of the lack of support, but do keep that in mind. Like this is not something I would work out in. This is actually the perfect yoga set right here. Top and bottom. Let's talk some laser cut seamless. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's talk some laser cut seamless. The second Buff Bunny seamless set that I've worn to the gym in anticipation of this video. So I grabbed the black. The only other color they're launching in is eggplant purple. A lot of you guys were raving about that one. You guys are like in love with the eggplant purple. Got them in the legacy, that's good enough. <laughs> let's start with the sports bra. I love and hate this sports bra at the very same time. Hate is a strong word, I take that back. This sports bra gave me a boob lift. A massive, massive boob lift. 34 Bs turned into like, 34 double Ds that I, I was taken aback. When I first put it on, I was like, oh hell yeah. But when I actually worked out in it, that's when I was like, oh, hoodie's gotta go on. I zipped up. I felt like any second, I was just gonna burst out the seams. Like I felt like I was just gonna flop on out. It's one of those things where this bra is so low cut that you wouldn't even feel your nip slip. Like it'll just happen and then you won't even realize it. You'll just see someone staring at you. You'll look down and be like, oh, my whole nip is out. Okay, this is how my day's going. Now I know Heidi said that this time around they cut this for small to medium sized chests. The last round of laser cut bras were fit for medium to large breasts. I think the aesthetic is beautiful. I think the laser cut detailing is spot on right around the neckline. The straps are comfy, they're stretchy, nothing dug in. I actually really like the flesh tone layer underneath because the laser cut would definitely be looking in right at my nips. Here they put in the flesh tone to conceal. So you're not actually seeing your flesh. You do have removable bra pads, very low support. The twist in the back is really adorable, really nice, pretty style. It is non-adjustable. Size small is great though. I mean, I wouldn't size up or down. Again, it's very, very low support. You can tell even this band is very minimal. So there's not a whole lot going on with the sports bra in terms of support. Me being a 34B, I feel like I was right on the precipice of being a little bit too large for this sports bra. Comfort level though, 10 out of 10. I wore this for quite a few hours and it was great for actually working out, jumping around, moving around that I would probably just save it for other things. So the leggings are high waist. You have the corresponding laser cut detailing that wrap around over the glutes, right down the leg and wrapping around the front of the ankle. Now, unlike the bra, there's no lining here. So you're gonna see flesh coming through, especially in the front, okay? Right underneath the front of the band, if you're wearing a low rise underwear, you're gonna see the color pop through. Now this is made out of their Elysium fabric. It can appear pretty shiny in some lighting. Very slick looking set. The fabric's very breathable. I walked out in 30 degree weather to the gym and I felt everything. You can sweat up a storm in this legging and you'll be fine. You won't see the sweat, especially in this dark legging and you really will wick it instantly. There's still an ample amount of stretch to keep it really comfortable. I actually ran in these, believe it or not, and I found them really suitable for running. It's about a moderate compression and it supported me very well while running. No slipping or anything of the sort, especially with this slick material. The Elysium fabric is Buff Bunny's premier gym material and I can see why. I feel like my glutes really, even in just black leggings like this, this V seam really worked and I felt like the glutes still were popping nicely. I find this to be a very simple yet super functional legging. Very true to size. If you're in between, that's when I would suggest sizing up. Overall, very squat proof. In some lighting, it might look shiny and then you're like, wait, is it being sheer on me? It's just the Elysium fabric being shiny. What I believe is one of the most underrated add-ons to your sets in this collection would be this V-neck pump cover top. If you're looking for an extremely lightweight, breathable, oversized pump cover, check it out. This is not cotton, so it's not gonna trap heat. This is almost see-through, really. This is in the stardust color. This is in a small, and I am so glad I didn't size up for this. <laughs> if you're in between, size down, if anything. The material is very subject to getting wrinkly. The way they style this is pretty cool. I actually tied it up in the front, just like the picture. You can drop it off a shoulder. You could drop it off both shoulders, or you could just wear it naturally oversized, full length covering the bum ever so slightly. This is a very soft, lightweight piece that I think if you really love the idea of pump covers but you can't stand 
how bulky they can feel sometimes, like with traditional cotton t-shirts. I think you'll really like this one. All right, guys, so that concludes today's Buff Bunny cake collection review. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.